Washington. We have a really cool story for you at Fort Gaines. We meet up with someone who kind of takes us through the battle of Mobile Bay specifically. So we're going to focus on that and show you a lot of different other things happening around the fort as well. So tune into Studio 10 live tomorrow morning for that. Right now, I want to tell you about this. The Gulf Coast is full of talented people. Every once in a while, someone special is recognized on a national level for their incredible work. That's the case with Frank Ledbetter. Take a look. Frank is a local artist who works with metal to bend, shape, and design some amazing creations. Now, these pictures you're taking a look at are from America's premier art and craft show magazine called Sunshine Artists, take a look at that picture. That's that the wharf. That's what I was talking about yesterday, Cherish, with those big marlins out there. Very cool. Frank is the cover and featured artist for the August issue of this magazine, which is truly incredible since it is national. We got a chance to catch up with Frank at his workshop and gallery off of Fowl River Road to see how the process takes place from start to finish. Take a look. The Gulf Coast legend, the master artist, Frank <laughs> Ledbetter. So happy to have you here on Studio 10. And we've kind of been watching you so far go to town on this. What have you been doing here with this one? Well, uh, this is a, uh, one of my crabs that I do. People mm -hmm. like the crabs. They like the seahorses and they like the turtles. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's all aluminum. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I've done here is actually just cut the piece out. Yes, this is one of your finished yeah, crabs this, over this here. This is a finished crab. You can see it's, you know, it's got the shape. Uh, this band will have to be welded all the way around that, you know, to give it, you know, some to its depth, and then I'll have to cut, you know, everything else, and then uh, I'll, uh, we'll get it all welded up and and then clean it up and paint it. So awesome! Many works like this in Frank's gallery. We're gonna go take a look at that. All right, so from the workshop, the pieces are finally finished up, and they come here to this amazing gallery. Frank, tell us about some of the things we're seeing in here. Uh, well, I do a wide range of things, of course. So many different it's styles, so, many so different it's hard styles. to pinpoint more. It really is. So many unique features. For I mean, look at this. You got the Crimson Tide elephant right here. Hey, yeah, I, you know, the hat does kind of... It, it, it makes it know, seem it kind of Paul Bear bryant Ash, Big I mean, Al style. Exactly, but it, it's, uh, it's an, this is the power trim unit on, the out, uh, on your outboard motor. Wow. So your motor's on the back and it powers your motor up and down. That's an old, and this is a cowling off an old 150 Johnson. And speaking of motors, if we walk a little bit over here, you've got this seahorse. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is an old Elgin outboard mm -hmm. motor, and uh, it's um, um, just rearranged into a seahorse, basically. I mean, here's the, here's the motor, the flywheel, that's part of the motor, you know, the prop, you know, the cowling. Uh, the tiller arm, it's, it's even got the serial number, <laughs> you know, still on it. When I talked uh, to you a little bit earlier, I asked you, how do you creatively take something like just a motor and turn it into something like this? Well, I, I don't know if there's an answer for that. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, you know, my, my uh, transition from uh, a fabricator, you know, I had a, had a fabric shop at one time, and, and making the transition to an artist, uh, for an example, uh, mm -hmm. I just see this piece right here. Yeah. This is like uh, uh, one of my first little pieces. So if you look at this, which is kind of primitive, <laughs> and then you look at that marlin there. Yeah. So you know this. That's where I've come from that's here the to there. That's kind of the progression, you know. I'm glad you point out that marlin because when we walked in, that was the first thing I noticed. That's one of my favorite pieces. But if you look around this room, you can see so many different styles. A lot of it too is reflective of the area where we live. The Gulf Coast, the influence is heavy, of course. Right. Before we leave here, we have to go outside to see your latest works that are about to be shipped off. Yes. Let's go take a look. Okay. How unique and beautiful is that? Frank, some of your major, major works are done by commission. That includes these two pieces we're going to look at here outside. Tell us about that piece of work right there. Well, this particular piece, it's a contemporary piece, which uh, there again, you know, uh, shows some diversity. He 
approached me about doing a pipe sculpture, and he, this guy really likes color. Mm. So, uh, well, that's extremely <laughs> vibrant and vivid yeah. with the color. And where is that piece going to go? It's going to Kenner, Louisiana. All right, and another piece we have over here. Now, this one is entirely different from a contemporary pipe sculpture to kind of a work reflecting nature. Tell yeah. us what we're looking at here. And it kind of reflects Louisiana, you know, and it's, you know, you got the Indhinga in the, in the, in the white egret, and uh, so I sketched it up and I sent it to him. This is all stainless steel, also. Well, and, it is. Uh, it is just amazing as all your works of art here and if you want to learn more about Frank, frankledbetter.com. Frankledbetter.com. Of course you have the gallery here so get in touch with this man, have him make you something special or come see what he has here at the gallery because they are all amazing works of art. Thank you for stopping by Studio yeah, 10 and you today, can Frank. get me on Facebook at Frank Ledbetter Metal Art. Facebook? So you're, so you're modern with technology as well as well as being an amazing <laughs> artist. Well you know you have to you got to get yourself out there. <laughs> you definitely have to do that. <laughs> Thanks a lot for stopping by the show. We appreciate okay. it. Man, Frank's works of art are so impressive. So here's a look at that magazine. This is the August issue of Sunshine Artist, and you can see he actually autographed it for us, which is pretty cool. But Frank's story is in here, and his story expands just beyond what we showed you today. The reason he actually became an artist is a tragic story of the loss of his 15-year-old son, and that was in 2001. A couple years later, he really started to get into this art and self-taught himself. Truly incredible. The whole story is in this magazine. Go check that out. And also a little crab that he made for us as well. Pretty cool. So Frank's a great artist. Get in touch with him, frankledbetter.com, and see some of his amazing work and get some for yourself. Come